Hello, hello, fam. <clears throat> hello. I had to clear my throat. How are you doing tonight? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on. We are good. Welcome in, fam. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. This is Rooted in Essential Oil is my channel name. My name is Famous. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, for all those who are new, if you are catching this um, and during the live, please stick to the topic. That's all I ask. And be respectful in my chat. Um, I have been getting a lot of new people coming in, especially during my live, and I do appreciate it. I welcome every and anyone, um, doesn't matter what you're into, but, uh, just keep it respectful and we will be all good. But I do appreciate each and every one of you being in here. If you are catching the replay, just put hashtag replay or replay gang something so I know when my family is coming. And I like to call my subscribers family because you are an extended family of mine. So welcome, welcome in. Pull up a chair, get ready to learn something new. We are talking about oils and what they can do for you. Intimacy. So in the bedroom. So this is a great topic to learn something new. Um, it can be for anyone. Um, and it could help with certain areas of intimacy. Um, and I'm going to keep a PG, so uh, don't go saying crazy stuff in the chat. Um, but this is definitely a learning experience for everyone. Um, including myself, because I don't know everything and what I will be reading. Um, I'll be reading some things from a book and some things um, I personally use, but this is the book that I'll be using. It's called Lucy Lobato. This is a really good one. So I'll be reading some things from this book, and it is specific to... Young Living's essential oils. Um, and again, the oils that I talk about are plant-based. So they're strictly 100% pure, top of the line essential oils. If you go and get essential oils from a different brand or um, different company, it's going to be a lot different. And I just noticed I did not pin the link to the chat. Let me just do that real quick. Sorry, fam. I thought I was ready and I'm, I just noticed I'm not. So I do have a website store that you can get any of the products that I discuss. So I, I would recommend getting a notepad and a pen. That way you can take notes. And if you decide you would like to try some of these things that I talk about, you can write it down and then go to the website and order your products. Again, these are plant-based. This is my business, so I do educate and sell plant-based products, and I'm excited to be talking about this tonight to share it with my people. So it can help spice up the bedroom. Um, I have tried a couple of things. Where is it? Come on. Get it together. I'm trying to get back to the live, but my tablet is being weird. So we do have 
the link pinned to the chat. That way, um, my people that are in the live, you can um, click that link and it will take you to the website. And for those of you catching the replay, you can find the link in the description of this live or in the about section of my channel. That link will take you to the website. You just click sign in at the top right. You will see some numbers once you start filling out your uh, account information that is free. Um, you'll see some numbers and those are my membership numbers and it's just connected to me. That way we are connected. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple to create your free account. And if you do a loyalty order, it will save you money. So just keep that in mind. It is a subscription order, but you're fully in control of your subscription order. You can cancel at any time. You can add one item or up to like all of them if you wanted to. But it is a subscription order. It will go through monthly. And if you don't want it to go through monthly, you can change it. You can pick your prostate date, like you can do all of that. And it's fairly easy to do. You just gotta follow the steps um, once you add things to a loyalty order. The other option to order is just to add to cart um, and that won't really save you anything. You won't get any free products if you meet the requirements. Like you're really, your best bang for your buck is to do the loyalty order. And I do a loyalty order every single month, at least twice. Um, because I have two accounts and that's why I'm able to do it twice a month. Well, that's really my husband's and me. But let's get into it. But it is Black History Month and I told you guys every time I go live I'm going to talk about someone historic from the past and just bring back some history for you. And I also mentioned that I am part of the LGBTQ plus community. So I am going to be talking about someone from the community. And this person has changed a lot of things, um, has helped someone we all know of um, during the civil rights movement. And um, not a lot of people are aware of him and they try to downplay or not speak about that he was a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Sometimes that's hard to say because it's a lot of letters and I think it just changed too. But let me welcome some people in before I get started. So we got Miss Nisi in the, in the house. Welcome in fam. We got House of X Entertainment. Thank you for being here, appreciate you. And I know you're going live so, um, I'll jump over there once I am done here. Um, we got Tamika Davis in the chat. Welcome in, fam. Thank you for being here. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you can, thumbs up this live and share me out because I do have channel goals for 2024 and that is to become fully monetized. So I welcome every single body in. Um, and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Like, I can't do this channel without my family. So thank you for supporting. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for learning. It's all free knowledge here. Um, and it's a great community. I'm slowly building that community. And remember, I am doing giveaways. Every time we reach 100 family members, I will do a giveaway. So I just hit 600 plus and I did a giveaway, um, 700, I'll do another giveaway, 800, do another, and so on and so forth. So just keep that in mind. And you have to be a subscriber to win anything from the giveaway. And you have to be active in the chat or um, just watching, learning, listening, all that great stuff. So let's get into it. Um, without further ado, we are going to talk about Bernard Rustin. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he was, um, I'm trying to think of the word. Does it say it right here? 
he was a part of um, Martin Luther King Jr.'s like administration. So he was like an advisor for Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and he is a part of the LGBTQ plus community. So he did a lot of things during that time and I want to speak about him. So I will be reading uh, about him. So let's get into it. And if you know anything about Bernard Rustin, put it in the chat because we can all learn from it. Um, so it says Bernard Rustin, March 17th, 1912 through August 24th, 1987. So that was the year I was born. He passed away. Um, was an American politician, activist, a prominent leader in the social movement for civil rights, socialism, nonviolence, and gay rights. He is perhaps best remembered as the principal organizer of the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963. Rustin worked in 1941 with A. Philip Randolph on March of Washington movement to press for an end to racial discrimination in the military and defense employment. Rustin later organized Freedom Rides and helped to organize the Southern Christian Leadership Conference to strengthen Martin Luther King Jr.'s leadership. He taught King about nonviolence. Rustin worked alongside Ella Baker, a co-director of the Crusade for Citizenship in 1954. And before the Montgomery bus boycott, he helped organize a group called In Friendship to provide material and legal assistance to people threatened threatened with eviction from their tenant farms and homes. Rustin became the head of the AFL-ICO, a Philip Randolph Institute, which promoted the in integration of formerly all white unions and pr promoted the un... and promoted the utilization of African Americans. During the 1970s and the 80s, Rustin served on mainly humanitarian missions such as aid refuge, refugees from Vietnam and Cambodia. At the time of his death in 1987, he was on a humanitarian mission in Haiti. Rustin was a gay man and did to and due to Chris, 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 criticism over his sexuality he usually act as a influential behind the scene advisor to other civil rights leaders in the 1980s he became a public advocate on behalf of gay cause speaking at events as he activist and support supporter of human rights. Pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty interesting. Um, later in life, while still devoted to secure, securing works rights, workers' rights, Rustin joined other union leaders in, align, in aligning with ideological earning post Humorous praise for President Ronald Reagan. On November 20th, 2013, President Barack Obama awarded Rustin the Presidential Medal of Freedom. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Hello, Lisa J. Stocks. Welcome in, fam. I'm just reading over. Bernard Rustin. I don't know if you're familiar with Bernard Rustin, but he was a civil rights activist. Um, 
He was also a part of the LGBTQ plus community. And I am just reading about him. He helped um, Martin Luther King Jr. in his like um, supporters and um, did a lot for the African American communities, but other communities as well. Um, where did I stop? Where did I stop? And my son's coming down the stairs. Sir, can you go back upstairs? Hey. Please? I don't go get chocolate milk. Oh, well, you can't do it. Yes, I do. You can't do it by yourself. Yes. No, you're going to make a big mess. Be careful. No, because it's heavy. Wait for daddy. Okay? Sorry, guys. Um, trying to see where I left off. I scrolled too far. Okay, here we go. Rustin was born in 1912 in Westchester, Pennsylvania to Florence Rustin Archie Hopkins but raised by his maternal, maternal grandparents, Julia Davis and Jennifer Rustin. As the ninth of their 12 children growing up, he believed his biological mother was his older sister. His grandparents were relatively wealthy local caterers who raised Rustin in a large house. Julia Rustin was a Quaker. Although she attended her husband's African Methodist church, yeah. she was also a member of the National Association for Advancement of Colored People, NAACP. Leaders such as W. E. B. Um, and James Wellington Johnson were frequently guests in the Rustin home. With these influences in his early life and his youth, Rustin campaigned against racially discriminatory James Crow laws. One of the first document minute realization Rustin had of his sexuality when he mentioned to his grandmother that he preferred to spend time with males rather than females. She responded, I suppose that's what you needed to do. In 1932, Rustin entered well, Forest College, a historical black college in Ohio, operated by the AEM Church. Rustin was active in a number of campus organizations, including the Omega Psi, Omega, I don't know how to say that, Omega, I don't know, fraternity, he was expelled from Wilbur, Wilbur Force in 1936 after organizing a strike. After later, and after, and later attended Chassis State Teachers College. Now, Cha, Cha, Chassis University of Pennsylvania, Chassis honored Rustin with Um, Doctor of Humane Letter Degree at its 2013 commencement. After completing an act activist training program conducted by the American Friends Service Committee, AFSC, Rustin moved to Harlem in 1937 and began studying at City College of New York. There he became involved in efforts to defend and free the Scotts Bro boys 
nine young black men in Alabama who were accused of raping two white women. He joined the young uh, communist lead in 1936 and left in 1941 after the Communist Party USA revised its anti-war policy in response to Nazi Germany's invasion of the USSR. This conflicted with Rustin's anti-war stance. Soon after arriving in New York City, he became a member of the Fifth Street Meeting of the Religious Society of Friends, Quaker. Pretty interesting. I didn't know about any of this. Hugo Homestead, hello fam. Thank you for being here. We got M. Valamore's Life Vlogs. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you being here. Thumbs up this live. Share me out if you can. I would greatly appreciate it because um, I have channel goals for 2024 and that's to become fully monetized um, with my channel. So the more people I can reach, the better. And any and everyone needs to hear what I have to say. And it's free knowledge. And right now I'm just talking about um, Black History. It is Black History Month. So I just read some facts about uh, Bernard Rustin, who was a part of the LGBTQ plus community and helped serve uh, Martin Luther King Jr. on what he was about and had so many other campaigns that he was um, help organizing and just a great person um, for the civil rights movement. He was a socialism, nonviolent person. He was all for the gay rights. Um, and not a lot of people know about Bernard Rustin. So I wanted to read about him um, he was definitely in the background of a lot of scenes, um, especially with Martin Luther King um, Jr. But that was just a little bit about Rustin. And if you know something about him, definitely put it in the chat. Um, but I'm going to leave it at that and been connected for a long time. Well, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, fam. Um, I had to, my, my throat was dry reading all that. All right, so we are going to get into the plant-based products now. Um, that was just a black history moment of just getting my people more acclimated. Um, and every day I will talk about someone and if I do not go live, I will post it in my community post so you can read it there. And I did two posts, I believe, so far for the month of February um, in the community page. So you will have to scroll because I do like to share other channels in there and just like support, support each other. So if you don't know someone in the chat, definitely get to know them um, if you are a content creator or if you are a supporter. Um, definitely just connect with each other because it's a great community here and I like to be a part of a lot of other communities as well So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with my diffuser and You know what this is. It's the desert mist diffuser. It's one of my favorite diffusers. It is plastic So it won't break or anything like that. That was the outer lid. This is the inner lid It's the splash guard so the water won't go everywhere um, with a diffuser, um, there is a fill line in it, whether it's wood diffuser, plastic, ceramic, glass, it doesn't matter. They all have a fill line. And this one you can get off of the website that is pinned to the chat. So um, you can order this. Um, I believe it's only 30 bucks and it will last you quite some time. I think this one is going on two years. So I've had it for quite some time, but I fill my water first to the fill line and then I add my oils and that's it. Oils and water, that simple. I like to use tap water. Um, it is warm water, 
Um, you can use filtered. It will be a lot cleaner than tap water, but I, we do have a filter on the water, so um, I like to use it. But today I'm going to be diffusing orange essential oil because it's one of my favorites and it smells good. It's very uplifting and um, I just like the smell of orange. But funny fact about me, I don't like oranges. One, two, three. That was three drops of orange. I do not like oranges. I don't like orange juice. That's acidic. It just doesn't agree with me. And I like to smell it, but I don't like to eat it. The next oil we're going to put in here is called Divine Release. And the only reason why I grabbed this is because it was the first thing that was right there. Um, this has like a... Mm, what is that? I'm getting frankincense. It's a mixture of oils, so there are a few oils in here to make Divine Release. So on the side of the bottle, it tells you what oils are in here. It's a, a Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood. We have Roman Chamomile, Frankincense, Melissa, uh, Geranium, Grapefruit, Blue Spruce, Hilly Chrism, Bergamot, Rose, Latum, and Angelica. So those are the oils that are in here. And we're going to do one drop. I do smell the rose now. I do get that floral scent. So that was one drop. And I do get frankincense. And again, that was called Divine Relief. And then we just close it back up. This doesn't lock in. It just falls into place. Um, once you get it aligned, then you just put the lid, outer lid back on, the shell, and there's two buttons on this one. The power button is going to turn it on, and the light comes on. You'll see some vapors come up. I don't know if you can see them. My, my camera's a little blurry. Sorry, fam. I hope that's a little better. Um, so you can kind of see the vapors coming up right here. But if you push the power button again, it will go, the first time is the power and it will go for five hours. You hit it a second time, it's going to go for eight. You hit it a third time, it's going to go for 10 hours. One minute on and one minute off, up to 10 hours. And you've seen how much oil I put in here. It was, what, three drops? three or four drops forget how many orange I put in here but it wasn't a lot and this will last way longer than a candle it's safer you don't have to burn anything especially if you have kiddos in the house um, you don't have to worry about something burning and knocking and getting like burning up your house you also don't have to burn something in your house to put a smell into your home this is water and oils plant-based so just better for you to breathe in, better for your respiratory. Um, and it does a lot for like immune support. Um, it does things for hormone balance. Um, orange essential oil is really great for like uplifting. But as I put divine release in, and you see it just turned off. Um, and it cut back on in one minute, but Divine and Release has a lot of power oils in there, like rose. Um, we have frankincense, really grounding. Um, great for like meditation and things like that. But also Divine Release is going to help you release things. So I, I'm glad I grabbed that one because I definitely want to release what I have to talk about tonight. So um Let's get into it. That was just a diffuser. I like to show a little demonstration on how to use a diffuser. Um, and if you have a diffuser, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat if you do have a diffuser. And what is your favorite oil? 
Um, so we are going to get into some things. And let me just pull something up real quick. Really, really quick. So, um, I gotta pull up. There's this app that I'm using and I'll be reading from about some oils and I'll give you some like insight of my own personal, um, what I think of it and how I've used it and all that great stuff. So the first thing we are going to do is, we're gonna talk about what is good for the ladies. And because it is Valentine's Day coming next week, this is why I brought up this topic, intimacy. Um, and intimacy, intimacy comes in different ways. Um, whether it's sexual or financial or um, mental or um, like there's so many intimacies out there. Um, but I am going to be talking about intimacy in the bedroom. Um, and this can help with you. I am not a doctor. I am not a nurse. I am nothing in the medical field. I am just sharing what I use and for me and I'm reading what um, the website gives you also what this app is telling me about each oil um, so it is coming from young living that is the brand that I like to use is young living so I am a brand partner with young living that means this is a small business of mine so I do sell and educate the products and if you are interested just click that link that's pinned to the chat it will take you to the website and you can create your free account and start your ordering um, but if I were you, I would take some notes because I'm going to talk about some great things here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so with the first oil, this is for the ladies, and it is called Progestion Plus. Yes, I have it on hand. I actually just got it maybe a month ago. So I haven't had it for a very long time. It has like a sweet citrus smell to it, but I also can't get a full effect of it because of the diffuser going right next to me. Um, but it does smell sweet and citrus. There's some citrus notes in it. Um, so what is in here is scared frankincense, cedarwood, bergamot, Peppermint, and it says USP grade from wild yams and clove. So the wild yams is what the main ingredient is, and that helps with women's hormones. Um, so if you feel like you are out of whack with your hormones, um, definitely look into what you're using on a daily basis um, because that can contribute to taking your hormones like all out of whack and that's something you don't want also like look into like um laundry soaps look into fragrances all of that can affect your hormones um the food that you eat it all can affect you um so just pay attention take notes if you have to of what you did that day what you're using on a daily basis because it can disturb your hormones um but this is really good for the ladies it does smell good and it will get your hormones back right um and it's made with that wild yams um and yams have um i forget what it is in the yams but there is something in there and i'm going to read it says Progestion Plus Serum. So it says Progestion Plus featured some of our most loved essential oils, including scared frankincense, peppermint in the serum that perfectly pampers you. This is a true self-care formulated, specially, specifically for women. 
an idea for women over 30. Pedrestin Plus is a great addition to your daily routine. Wild yam extract and vitamin E supports healthy hormone balance and progestin press levels, which help with monthly cycles, libido, mood, and overall keeps you feeling your best. So that is progestin plus. I know you're probably thinking like, why is this man telling me about progestin plus? Um, I talk about everything and if it can help women, I will talk about it. I don't use this, as you see, it's like brand new, never, I've smelt it and that's it. I've never applied it, it won't harm me, but I don't wanna, I'm not a woman, so I don't need my, um, my progestin balanced with progestin plus, it's for the ladies. So I do have it, and when I do in-person events, I will have it on hand, that way, Women can smell it and learn about it. Um, but it says, apply two to four drops two times daily or need it to, or as needed to the neck or wrist or add a roller fitment to make application easy. So a fitment would be, this has a dripper. So you see the top, it drips the oil. But if you take that this top off, you can put a little roller ball on the top of this and it's just easy for you to roll on. So it's just easier um, to apply. Um, and then I'm going to read from this book and it's called Lucy Lobato. And it says Lucy Lobato says there's an oil for that. And it's really talking about um, things that you can use to help improve in the bedroom. It is specific to Young Living's oils. I got this off of Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, and there's quite a bit of information in here. It's only 105 pages, so it's a very short read. Um, but it gives you things that definitely could help in different situations. So I'm just looking for Progestin Plus, and I'm going to read what it says. So right there, Progestin Plus, and it says Hormone Balancing Oil, Progestin Plus, balance it out for a better libido. It says, it happens every month. It's like there's some kind of cycle to it. Not only do I notice the change, but my body does too. It tells me that I need Progestin Plus Serum, so I use it. And of course, then Mr. Lovato gets to hear about it. So she's talking like in a third person. Um, and her name is Lucy Lovato. And um, I think she's married, so that's why she's saying Mr. Lovato gets to hear about it. This is a recurring conversation with Mr. Lovato. Have I told you how great Progestion Plus is? Yes, you told me about 28 days ago. My head has totally stopped pounding. You said that 56 days ago. I feel so much happier now. I have energy, I don't have to sleep all day. You mentioned that 84 days ago. And then it goes on and says, I have the repeating cycle of talking nonstop about how much I love Progestin Plus. I tend to talk a lot about it, in fact, every 28 days or so. A few years ago, after my, my, after my third baby, I started getting migraines. They would keep me in bed with my eyes covered. The only way I could function on these days was sleeping four hours during the day while the kids were at school, then taking caffeine and painkillers to get me through the afternoon. I remember one day it was so bad I had to take my baby into daycare just so I could sleep in a dark room. They didn't, they didn't happen, they didn't happen every day, but maybe once a month. It was like a day or two then disappear. 
it lasted a day or two and then disappeared. It was on a trip once when I felt the throbbing starting on the side of my head. A good friend of mine was also a nurse, was sharing a hotel room with me. She was also an oiler, noticed my bathroom clutter, and she said, that's a menstrual strike, menstrual migraine, Lucy. Do you have some progestin plus? Um, she's giving you a scenario. So now Lucy is the kind of person who would never need progestin plus. No, that's just for women who with endocrines or severe PMS. I am the love queen. I am happy all the time, not subject to irrit irritability ever. And I am 100% sexy day and night. Even on my period, a smell of roses and hummingbirds fluttered about my head. Nah, I just over, overtired, I said, and popped my pill. About a month later, it started again. I kind of noticed something this time. This was about a month since my last migraine. Hmm. So I ordered the hormone balance oil that it's supposed to help everything from lobato to migraines. I figured it would be a good i figured it would be good to have it on hand then again a month later i felt it return like clockwork then i learned how unbalanced i really was i realized how much happier i could be once i learned how to balance my hormones with natural plant extracts life is all about balance we balance our pers professional and private lives we balance our uh proteins and carbs we balance home life with with work life it's all a ba balancing act in yoga there's a pose called scorpion where you're balancing your arms and your body in an arch over your head like a scorpion stinger a person needs 100 percent balance and focus to achieve this pose if you core if your core isn't a if your core isn't active, if your arms aren't supported, if your legs are too far forward, it's just not going to happen. It's very much the same with hormones and lobato. I'm not going to read all of this because it's going in fairly deep. Um... It says, fast forward about a year later, I discovered essential oils. Cool. Then I heard about progestin plus serum. Even cooler. It's not just an essential oil, but a natural progestin, progestin supplement with essential oils and wild yam extract. The first time I tried it, I felt nothing different, but I was much nicer to my kids. The second time I tried it, Let's just say that I'm glad my husband works from home and I'm glad we have a lock on our bedroom door. Mr. Man was so happy that I found something that helped me get frisky. I had my sex drive back. It was definitely an unexpected outcome, but a very nice one. It's, this isn't a quick fix supplement, but for me in the long term, it has helped reset my hormone balance and give given me that part of my life back. Um, Progestin Plus Serum was developed by a doctor who specialized in women's hormone issues. When testing women who came to see him, almost all of them had low progestin or zero progestin. I can't say the word. You know what I'm trying to say. It's not progestion. Um, but the women hormone. This is a problem because this is a hormone that our bodies need in inadequate amounts for libido and overall wellness. Many women's issues like endocrine endocrisis 
menstrual migraines and PMS may be related to low levels of natural progesterone, low progesterone and or estrogen also contribute to hot flashes and night sweats. Progesterone production decreases over time and tends to drop after childbirth for so many women. When it drops too low, our sex drive disappears too. Boo. Well, next time my head start started pounding, I followed the advice of my friend. I applied Progestion Plus to my forehead and the back of my neck. I drank lots of water and Ninja Zinc, which is touch of caffeine. So Ninja Zinc is a plant-based um, like energy drink. It's made from... Um, green tea so there is caffeine in it to to my utter delight the pounding dissipated and every 28 days or so when I started to feel it creeping in I know my body's levels are too low I found that low progesterone presents differently in different bodies this is why it affects libido in one PMS in another or and migraines in the next. So whenever any of my friends is dealing with any of these things, I tell them try Progestion Plus first. And now at least once a month, it becomes my best friend and Mr. Lobato gets to hear all about it again. It says besides Progestion Plus, there are a few other hormone balancing oils that you should know about. Lady Squirrel, and scarlet essence and are essential oil blends that also work to balance the female reproductive system. So that was Lady Squirrel and Scarlet Essence. Scarla Scarla Essence. Um Natural hormones abide in our bodies are necessary for re reproduction. Uh -huh. Yes. Did you sing Daddy's house shoes? They're by the cheer over there. They're by the cheer. By the chair? Yeah, over there in the family room. Where you were sleeping by the couch. Look on the floor. My son. Bro, your hair looks like a skate park. We are going to just time that out. All right, so that is just about Progestion Plus. And yeah. Um, so ladies, if you are having any like hot flashes, PMS, um, unbalance of your hormones, definitely get you some brick. Progestion Plus, and it is good. It smells nice. Um, definitely smells like a, like a natural perfume. And let me try smelling it over here. Yeah, I get frankincense and uh, the citrus notes, and a little bit of floral. But yeah, that's Progestion Plus, and we are going to talk about another oil. So. The next oil we are going to talk about is for the fellas. This one I like to use myself, um, and it's called Sutron. Sutron, there is a line of products with Sutron, and this is really good for male hormones. Excuse me. So, it says Sutron. I put this on my neck. I will put this on my forearms and sometimes I'll put it on the inner thigh and with the progestin plus you can put it on your inner thigh as well or back of the neck neck area wrist area um, and it will get you right but Sutron essential oil blend an empowering essential oil blend specifically formulated for men to boost feelings of masculinity and confidence sutron is perfect for as a cologne that appeals to both men and women including idaho blue spruce 
Oka tea, ylang ylang, cedarwood, lemon, northern light, black spruce. This blend supports male hormones and smells amazing. It smells wonderful. I like the smell of Sutron. And it does have like a little citrus notes in it um, that I get. But I get more tree. It's like a tree citrus smell. And it smells good. So you, it says apply two to four drops two times daily or as needed to the neck or wrist. Um, so again, I put it on my neck. I put it sometimes on the back of my neck. I'll put it on my forearms and I sometimes will put it on the inner of thigh. Um, and it just helps support you with your hormones. Men, you have hormones. So, um, if you're not familiar, you do. And if you're out of whack by using products like, um, like beard oils, beard, um, shaving creams, um, soaps, lotions, um, shampoos, um, even skincare products. If it has things in it and it's taking it out of whack, definitely look into what you're using. Maybe try to stop using it and see how you are doing for like a few days and then start using it again to see if it's affecting you and how your your moods are um but i am a i believe in using cleaner products so if you are using something that may be disrupting your hormones i do have it in a plant-based form so if it's shaving cream uh body wash there are bar soaps, there's Sutron soap, there's Sutron shaving creams, there's lotions, there's there's a lot. If you're using something and you want to try something more natural, definitely check out this website. It's pinned to the chat. But Sutron is a really good one. I love it, fellas and ladies like these. <laughs> they go hand in hand. So, fellas, ladies. Get you some. If you are out of whack, get you some. If you want to get back right, start changing things. But um, if you're going to continue to use what you're using on a daily, then the oils that I have are not going to do anything to you because it's you're not fixing the problem. You're just trying to fix it by still using the same thing that you're using. And that's not going to fix it. It's not even going to put a band-aid over it. So just do some, dig deep to, into yourself and see what works for you. Try not using it. And then if you feel like you're different from it, then start looking to the oil. Um, but the Sutron in this book says, and I won't read the whole entire thing. Let me find it first. Should be coming up in a second. Maybe it's not in here. It should be though. They have all the other oils. I don't see why it wouldn't be in here. Let me go to the index. Nope. There's like so much in this. Um, <laughs> There's, there's natural, natural lubes for him and her. There's mood enhancer diffuser blends. There's whipped mousse. Yeah, they're going in. trying to find there it is right there so we are going to read it I, again I'm not gonna read well I might read it because it's not very long like the other one um, so it says Sutron so I love my Sutron man all right I saved the best for last this is not last for me um, that's how I feel Sutron Sutron was released to inter intergrade crowd and 
Let's try this again. Sutron was released to an intrigued crowd in Salt Lake City. Obviously, I was there because of the nature of announcing things publicly. It was referred to as a cologne. The online description um, states, Just a few drops throughout the day will help with an impossible work day or the pursuit of a special event. At first, I was like, who's going to spend that much on a cologne? But oh my, oh my. Sutron is more than a cologne. Sutron is the first and only oil created specifically to help catch a lady's attention. Remember, when you learn about the science of essential oils, nod your head, yes, you will learn that it's not the scent itself that is effective, but rather the chemical constituents inside the oil. Sutron is formulated for the men to wear to help turn on the lady. It's like a bottle of sweet smelling pheromones wifting into the hidden part of your brain, stimulating your naughtiest imagination. Once you realize what Sutron does, oh, then it becomes worth every penny. Pheromones are airborne chemical massage messages that have a physical and emotional effect on opposite genders of the, of the same species. Hormone-like smells trigger the brain. I can't say this word. Hypothalamus, hypothalamus, which is not usually simulated by common odors. A woman's hypothalamus is activated when she smells pheromones or chemical constituents similar to testosterone. And a man's help, hypothalamus shows the opposite. His brain is activated by estrogen like pheromones or chemical constituents. All of the more reason to put a little scarlet essence behind the ear. Sensation on the chest or clary sage on the inner thigh. So all those are essential oils that you can give from Young Living. So it was scarlet essence, um, sensation, and clary sage. Now, what does Sutron do for the man? Let's try to say that it's loaded with Idaho blue spruce, which we know supports the standing trunk of his tree. Hint, hint. Um, let me say that again. Let's just say that it's loaded with Idaho blue spruce, that's essential oil, which we all know supports the standing trunk of his tree. It makes sense that Idaho blue spruce is a key ingredient in Sutron. Then it is perfectly blended with man boosting Hinoki, another Cypress family oil. So it's part of Cypress. If you're familiar with Cypress, um, it is woodsy and fresh. It smells really, really attractive. Dilute it for sensitive skin and apply a couple of drops behind the ear and to the shaft of his tree trunk. Rub it in, oh girls. You will love your Sutron man. He can also use Sutron topically on the forearms or the inner thigh. So as I said, that's where I put it for me. Um, and I do use it as a cologne. He can wear it daily like a cologne to boost t testosterone and confidence. It can also be used t topically on the women, on the woman, on the forearms or the inner thighs. Some ladies find it really gets them going too. Women should use it right beforehand as opposed to daily. It also can be diffused to build the mood uh, mood seriously 
this is one smell one smelling amazing this one smells amazing Okay, in our little group of Lucy ladies, we have a slogan. We say it all the time. We randomly drop it to each other as messages. We say it under our breath as we walk past. We can say it and we can't say it enough. Our mantra, mantra, I love my Sutron man. So that was about Sutron and again, really good for men hormones and just boosting that um, hormone gets you right. Um, but as you heard in, in here, it says, rub it in on his tree, the shaft of his tree trunk. So you know what that means. Bound chicka wow wow. Um, so that is Sutron and we just talked about progestin plus the next oil that we are going to talk about is one that I actually do not have. Um, but I've heard great things about it. And it's the Su Sen Sensation Massage Oil. So I don't have this one. It's really good for massages. And here's what it says. When it comes to lubricants, ditch the toxin. Excuse me, sorry. Ditch the toxin-laden toxin stuff from the store and grab Sensation Massage Oil to use as a personal lubricant. This diluted blend of geranium, jasmine, and ylang-ylang has a beautiful scent that is romantic, refreshing, and encourages an atmosphere of love, excitement, and affection. It It's amazing to have a... a it's amazing to have a tool that can both support you emotionally, physically, during sex. Um, used for a massage or for a lubricant. So it is called Sensation Massage Oil. And you can use it as a lubricant. And let's see if it's in here real quick. I'm not sure if it is. I haven't actually read this whole book and I've had it for quite some time and I just need to sit down and read it. I've read bits and pieces, but not like the whole thing. Yeah, and I don't think Sensation Oil is going to be in here because they're specifically talking about essential oils. And if you have any questions, definitely put them in the chat, fam. Put them in the chat if you do. Um, so this oil, this is called Ortho Ease. This is another uh, massage oil. Um, but it's it has a cooling and calming massage effect to it. Um, I personally wouldn't use this one for like a lubricant because it has that cooling and calming sensation. But if you were giving like a physical touch massage to your significant other, this is one I would definitely use. And it's called Ortho Ease. But the sensation looks like this, but it says sensation on it. And it's really good for what I just read. Um, but I don't have sensation, so I will definitely have to get it and share it with you. Share my thoughts. Um, all right, so we're gonna go to the next oil because we got more oils. I have four more oils that I want to read about, and I have three bonus oils. So we we're gonna go over an hour. Um, so. The next oil is, and if you have any questions, put them in the chat. This one is called Cypress. Cypress is the oil. This is a holy oil. It was mentioned in the Bible many, many times. I just received sensation. 
Do you mix that with a carrier oil? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I will be talking about sensation here in just a minute. Um, but sensation is a good one. Um, and I'm glad you did get it. It's definitely good for, you'll find out. Um, but Cypress is a holy oil. It was mentioned throughout the Bible many times. Um, back then they didn't have oils, they had botanicals. So they were actually using the plants and things in that nature for their benefits. Um, but Cypress is a good one and it says, Cypress is a wonderful oil when it comes to supporting healthy blood flow. Blood flow is important, fellas. Um, which, is, which is critical for intimacy. You can use this woodsy grounding oil daily during intimacy for getting blood flow to the places that you want it to flow to. Makes sense? Um, so... This definitely has a woodsy smell to it. It's almost like a myth, methylatum kind of smell. I like it. It's it's a good one. I like it. Um, it says dilute and apply to the inner thigh or higher as desired during intimacy. So you would want to apply this right before. Um, dilute and apply daily in... Dilute and apply daily to the inner thigh and legs for overall circulation support. So it also helps with that blood flow and just keeping things circulated. Really, really good. Hold on one second, family. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I thought my husband was saying something. He likes that blood flow you feel. Um, so, Cypress is a really good one. Um, and I like Cypress. I use it um, probably at least twice a month. And I don't use it just for like blood flow and things in that nature. I just like the smell of it. Um, so I, I usually, when I use it, is in the diffuser. And it just puts the scent into the air and helps with me breathing it in and all that great stuff. Um, but it's also good for like congestion and opening opening up those, that uh, sinus. Um, so let's see if Cypress is in here and I'm sure it is let's see what we got in this book and again I'm reading Lucy Lovato and I got this from Amazon it was about 20 bucks not too expensive and I don't see it the past one. What is that? There it is. Cypress. They don't call me the thigh master for nothing. <laughs> so it says Cypress. Yippee. We are back to Cypress again. I believe I've already ranted and raved about how awesome it is to tone down veins and any. And any lumpity lumps on your lumpity lumps on your hiney. Time to talk about your favorite use of this lovely conifer. Conifer is a tree. I call Cypress the thigh master. This is my favorite oil to use in the inner thigh. Potion for the bedroom. It can be used for men and women. 
but I have included it here because it is simply a must have to help the ladies get swollen in the full floodgates. Do you get that, ladies? <laughs> it says, because it is a simple and must have to help the ladies get swollen in the floodgates. You can mix cypress with any other oil that you love, cypress and orange, cypress and ylang ylang, cypress and clary sage, you get the idea. The reason I love cypress so much for use between the sheets is because cypress simulates blood flow and circulation in the body. The chemical constituents are like a magical power that sucks all that heat and blood from my th legs upward and inward. Oh my yes. Blood flow is a Blood flow is kind of a big deal when you are talking about squirming beneath the covers. If you need help getting engorged, Cypress is your thigh master friend. If you want him to stand at attention like a saluting naval seal, then guess what? That's going to depend a lot on blood flow too. And likewise, super duper, oh my wow, explosions for women depending on a lot of blood flow as well. See the pattern? Cypress equals blood flow, and blood flow equals magic. Apply it on your inner thighs, apply it on, you, on his inner thigh. Mix it with your other favorites, but don't forget the cypress. The love, Lucy. Lucy's favorite. Don't forget the Cypress. So that is Cypress. And yes, it is very interesting. Um, yep, yeah, very, very interesting about Cypress. Hold on one sec, fam. Okay, fam, so that was Cypress. Sorry, I was talking to my honey. Um, all right, so the next oil is, and I used this one in the very beginning, and it's called Orange Essential Oil. So this is one of my favorite oils. When it comes to essential oils, um, it's very uplifting and it's also a natural teeth whitener. So if you use it in your toothpaste or on your toothbrush, it will help whiten your teeth naturally. Um, I don't do that like every single day, but maybe like once a week I'll do that. But it tastes good and um, your breath will smell like oranges. Um, but Orange essential oil. It says, orange is a wonderful tool for processing the com complicated emotions blocked used from true intimacy. Try diffusing during times of connection and even use orange when you want to have a little fun during sex. It tastes great. Um... It says, diffuse or apply orange daily while processing emotions. Diffuse or apply orange during intimacy as desired. Um, so that's orange. And it is one of my favorites. I've never used 
um, orange for intimacy. Uh, we don't use oils like that when it comes to intimacy. N not these. Um, but with this book, let's see what it says in here. I'm looking for orange essential oil. Okay, here it is. It's fairly short, so I will read the whole thing. It's right there. Orange. Let's see if it's... Oh, there's a backside, so I'll read the whole thing. It says, orange, you glad I'm an aphrodisiac. Had to think about that one. Like, what is that? Um, orange you glad I'm an aphrodisiac so oh orange orange is like a drop of happiness in a bottle it's one of the sweetest and most bright brightly ambered saturated oils in the rainbow orange is a bright oil orange welcomes light and happiness it is carefree and secure orange brightens the mood lifts the spirit energizes the mind and creates feeling of bliss think of summer childhood days playing in the water or eating bright popsicles out in the sun for the adults orange helps to let go of stress and enjoy being in the, the moment this oil opens the scarlet sh scarlet chakra near the pelvis area the chakra is associated with pleasure, creativity, and se sexuality. Sensu sensuality. Orange is an aphrodisiac oil that helps you to let go of your grow grown up problems and embrace sexuality and fun. Orange is awesome for I'm not sure what this word is for. Fragility. Awesome for fragil fragil fragility. It can help you relax if you have low libido due to a bit of anxiety. It is fantastic when you mix with a floral like ylang ylang or an equalizer like cypress or clary sage so we just talked about cypress you can mix it with orange and it will do some great things just imagine what you can do with that it says it can be used in the diffuser to help you chill or on the inner thigh to unwind and let go orange also earns a rock star status for the men, in order for a man's joystick to perform like the 1984 Nintendo Championship, he's got to have a plethora of hormones surging through his body in, order, in just the right order at just the right time. It's kind of like having the secret code to unlock unlimited invincibility for hormonal success ask him if he remembers the ultimate code up down up down left right left right b a b a select start kaboom <laughs> um some components of men's secret joysticks codes are l um I don't know what that word is. It says L are gaining testosterone and go. I'm not good with these words. Is an amino acid that improves nitric oxide in the body. This amino acid is found in the supplement multigreens, just FYI. Multigreens is a supplement that we also have. Um, nitro nitric oxide improves vascular dilatation of the joystick 
all these scientific words. Um, gelatin is an antioxidant that is cons concentrated in the liver and is one of the necessary components of a nice frozen solid, solider popsicle. Low levels of gelatinin are more linked to melting creamsicles. Apply eight drops of orange or lime over the liver to increase internal gelatin levels. Aside from smelling like a carefree summer popsicle, it will support his back stick as well. Oh, wait. It will support his big stick as well. They said a lot in there. So your liver is on your right side. Um, and it's like right here. Like right in this area. You would want to apply the orange or lime. Um, eight drops. And... It will help with increasing those levels and that helps with getting support to his big stick. Pretty interesting. And then on this book, it does have a little section where you can write notes. So you can take notes. Um, so that is about orange. And orange again is one of my favorites and I definitely want to try it in the bedroom. Um, because I do like the scent of orange. I don't like to eat oranges. I don't like orange juice. But uh, I will try this. I will try something on my honey. With that orange. And then, again, if you don't want to put oils on your body, um, the essential oils, you can use a diffuser. So, right here is a diffuser. And it's still going. But you can apply those oils into the diffuser when you're having intimacy and it puts the scent into the air so you're getting it aromatically you can breathe it in and will help but the faster way to use essential oils um, is to apply it topically so definitely start using it and if you do use it um, let me know in the comment section of this video um, I would love to hear what happened and you don't have to go in details, but like, I would like to know, like, hey, this worked. That oil worked for me. Um, so the next oil we are going to talk about is nutmeg. And I know you're probably like, nutmeg, that, that is, how do you even get nutmeg oil? It is a spice, but you can get an oil from nutmeg. And... It is plant-based, so we're going to talk about it. Um, this is really good for the men. Um, so it says nutmeg is our go-to for healthier adrenals, thyroid support, and blood flow, getting blood flow to certain areas. This is one of one oil that can really spice up your sex life. Trust us on this one. So again, I haven't tried this one. Um, I've cooked with it. It smells just like nutmeg. I've cooked with it. I've applied it in baked goods, but uh, it's really good. I like to consume it. Um, but it says dilute, apply over the adrenals during daily for stress support. Dilute and apply to the inner thigh for spicy sensation and healthy blood flow. And let's see what we got in the book. We are looking for nutmeg. And then after this, we still have four more oils to talk about. I am looking for nutmeg. Where are you?
Is nutmeg not in here? Looking for nutmeg, but I am not seeing it. So maybe it's not in here, which is kind of sad. I'll go to the website and see what I can find. And if you have any questions, oh, here it is. I found it. I'm thinking about making a roller of those various ones. Yes, 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 Miss Nisi. And welcome in. Welcome in. Cooking with the Catrons. Hello. What? What oils did you get, Catrons? If you don't mind me asking. Thank you for being here. Thumbs up this live. Share me out if you can. Would be greatly appreciated. And I don't know. I I did tag you in a video. And I was using some of the spices that I got from you guys a while back. Um, I believe that was September. Um, when you guys had that sale. And I did... Um, what did I cook? Oh, it was chicken and waffles. My first time making it and the first time eating chicken and waffles. So I didn't make a short of that and I tagged you in it. So um, if you didn't check it out, check out my short. Them chicken and waffles with that seasoning was everything. And if you would like to order some seasoning, definitely go over to Kick Cooking with the Catrons and order. Order you some because it's some good seasoning. And there's a specific seasoning that's called chicken and waffles. And I put that on the chicken with the chicken spice blend. And it was everything. It like, And I used the, um, the breadcrumbs. Not the spicy one, but the regular one. And yeah, it was everything. Everything. All right, so... We're going to read about nutmeg and welcome in. We're just talking about oils with using essential oils with intimacy. So this one says nutmeg, just like the express lane. I'll get you there faster. Okay, nutmeg. All right. So it says, okay, nutmeg is another blood pumping must have for your mister. Technically, you... It can be used for the ladies too, but I've seen the best results using it for the guys. You, you ready for some fun facts? Nutmeg essential oil is extracted by steam distillation from the seed or husk. It is, it is a stimulant. It can be applied over the belly or taken internally. Only young living vitality, of course. Um, so Young Living does have oils where you're able to consume them. As long as it has a white label, those are FDA approved, so you can consume them. Um, and nutmeg is one of them. So nutmeg improves digestion by stimulating the stomach. It, it has a long, long been rumored to help with issues like flask, flask, lip. Flaccid and indigestion and cons cons constipation. Now, before you say ew, not what I I am here for, Lucy. And again, I'm reading Lucy Lobato. Uh, nutmeg is also an aphrodisiac oil. Nutmeg energizes the property stimulated stem. Stimulated both physical and sexual energy. Some people report feeling weird after diffusing or ingesting nutmeg. It can be compared to a caffeine kick depending on your body's chemistry. Emotionally, 
Nutmeg stimulates energy and physical physic, physically it increases circulation and ramps ramping healthy vis I these these uh, scientific words are getting me. Vasodilation. Think of it this way. Vaso equals blood. Vessel and dilution equals makes, makes bigger. Vasodilution. Put two and two together. I think you can get do the math. Nutmeg such as effective is such a effective tool for diluting blood vessels and increasing circulation. It is the first natural recommendation for conditions where blood vessels constrict. Nutmeg is so stimulating that it can have negative effects when used in excessive amounts, like heart racing palpitations and hallucinations so don't go crazy no drinking a whole ton a whole bottle in hopes to transform into captain america okay don't do that <laughs> don't do that with any oil um nutmeg can be diffused or applied topically it's a little more sensationing sen sensual Essentializing on the skin than goldenrod or Idaho blue spruce. Be sure to dilute this one and start on the t inner thigh and work up from there. Only if needed. Usually I keep this one on the inner thigh rather than working south. Nutmeg vitality can be taken internally. When ingesting, I recommend starting with one to two drops nutmeg vitality diluted with olive oil in a capsule. So there are capsules that you can buy. They're empty veg veggie capsules that are on the website and it can help with you taking an essential oil internally. So that's taking it like a pill almost. Um, but it says one to two drops. If energy or stamina in the bedroom is what you're after, then try this fun little recipe. This special blend is called Mr. Lobato's Turkey Palette. And it is the result of fun time trial and error in our research group. After you have ensured that your arms doesn't have any sensi sensitivity to these oils, make the perky capsule. It's five drops of Idaho blue spruce, three drops of golden rod, and three drops of nutmeg in a capsule with 10 drops of olive oil. Have him swallow 10 to 30 minutes before go time for optimal circulation. So I get what they're doing there. <laughs> you know the blue pill? That's what that is. Just natural. Um, tell your mister not to double the recipe just because he has bulging muscles like Thor. Even though, even Thor should start with classic recipe. I should know. We're, we're tight. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's PG for sure. I think about making a rule. Oh, I already read that. Um, so that is nutmeg and definitely great benefits for the men. Ladies, you can use it too, but this one was more direct towards the men because of what it can do for the men. Um, and if you want the vitality, just look for the white label instead of this like brown orange color um you would want the vitality there is a section where it just says vitality oils it will bring them all up and you'll see all the oils that are fda approved that is safe to consume
But remember, not all oils you can just go to the store and just grab and start consuming oils. That is not what you want to do. Don't do that. Um, so I do have four more oils. And I know we've been here for quite some time. I appreciate you. If you need to take a break, you can. But I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so. The next oil is Sensation. Sensation is the oil that we will be talking about. And this one, it has a floral scent to it. It's definitely on the floral side. It is a mixture of oils. And how you read this one to see what's in it is you pull the label back. When you do that, I don't know if you can see it, but when you do that, it has like the the directions on how to use the oil and it will tell you what oil is in here. So it has coriander, ylang ylang, bergamot. Um, it does say orange peel, jasmine, geranium. It says 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oil. 100% pure, absolute, formulated by D. Gary Young. It says directions up, topically apply two to four drops directly to desired area. Dilution not required except for the most sensitive skin. Use as needed. Aromatic diffuse up to one to three hours. One hour, three times daily. So that is sensation and again it has that floral scent to it. Um, so let's read about sensation. This one I have to actually type in sensation. Oh, it doesn't give you a lot on here. All right, so. Let me see what's, what's on this. Nope. All right, so let's see what's in the book because it's not giving me too much on this app. So I will read from the book, but let me go to the website real quick and read it from the website. Sensation. All right, so it says... Sensation, essential oil blend containing coriander, ylang ylang, bergamot, jasmine, geranium, and is an romantic blend that is refreshing and arousing, amplifying the excitement of new heights of self-expression and awareness. It's this. The unique blend of essential oils can encourage and amplify an atmosphere of love, excitement, and affection. Geranium essential oil is commonly used in perfumes for its uplifting aroma and is, and it may reduce the appearance of blemishes and fine lines with when applied topically. Jasmine essential oil. So it's just reading off of the oils that are in this blend of sensation. Jasmine is in there and it says essential oil helps you develop a border perspective, broad, brighter, broader, slow down, broader perspective with its romantical, romantical, with its romantic floral aroma, a very feminine aroma that embraces and exalts the 
sacred masculine and has been reverbed for centuries as a symbol of love and purity, harmonizing opposite to promote wholesomeness. Ylang-ylang, essential oil promotes the appearance of healthy looking skin and shine, shiny hair and has a calming aroma that sets the mood for romance. It says, you suggested use, apply in intuitively to areas of emotional disconnect diffuse it to create an atmosphere of ease while reflecting on life's roadblocks use it in your daily meditation or prayer to promote feelings of relaxation and peace apply sensation topically and inhale or utilize it with breathing techniques to enhance mindfulness Wear it as a perfume, diffuse it, or add it to your linen spray to energize and enhance your evening for an extra boost of confidence. Use it and use it to energize and enhance your evening with your partner or spouse. Use it. Use its aroma to create a calming or balancing atmosphere. So that's what it says on the website. Now let's read the book. And Miss Nisi. All ears. Yes. Love and Live Show. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Miss Nisi. Um, what was I going to say? Have you used the oil um, sensation? And what do you think about it? How do you like the scent of it? And welcome in Love and Live show. I am just talking about some oils for intimacy and what you can use, whether it's for men, women, or both. Um, and we are being PG here, so don't go crazy. Um, not yet. Okay. Well, let me know what you think of it. I would love to hear what you think of it. Um, so this is the book that I'm reading from, Lucy Lobato. We're talking about sensation, and I'm going to read what it says. And I do have the oil in front of me. It has a floral scent to it. So if you like floral scents, this is perfect uh, for you. I've got a secret, is what it says. And it's uh, sensational. I got a secret and it's sensational and it's like something else we're talking about here. It also starts with the letter S. The little secret is sensation. Sensation is an alluring blend of ylang ylang, bergamot, and jasmine. It smells like joy. That's an essential oil. I don't have it in front of me, but I did use joy the other day. Um, so it smells like joy, but a little bit softer because it contains less geranium than joy, which gives it a strong floral scent. Not a lot of people know about sensation, but it's name that's for a reason. It's, it is simply sensational. It really gets me purring often. I find myself feeling over schedule and stress to the point that it makes me not want to be touched boo when i am in this when i am in this state sensation can help pull me out and help release my blocks to be intimate and loved i find the scent to be uplifting and opening sensation can be used aromatically to set the tone the soft floral aroma is uplifting and arousing without being overbearing. When Mr. Lobato smells our room full of sensation, he knows what's in store for both of us. He knows what time it is, is what she's saying. Um, my favorite way to use sensation is 
on the inner thighs. You can use it on the edge of your ears. So like here, just on the edge. Um, and that is a really good point. I don't ever share this, but putting oils on your ear, whether it's behind it or on the ear, um, those are good places to place oils, essential oils. Um, and I forget what that, what system it will connect and like get into your system and just work with your body. But it, that is one of the places you're supposed to put oils behind the ear, the neck areas, the chest areas, wrist or forearms, inner thighs, um, feet, spine. Um, you can even put it on your, uh, like bicep, um, where else? Like usually on the abdomen area. Um, yeah, pretty much anywhere. Get oils on your body. My favorite way to use, oh, I already read that part. Uh, my favorite way to use sensation is on the inner thighs. You can use it on the edge of your ears, the back of your neck, and in your cleavage. Cleavage crease too. So like right under here. Um, I started, I start to have feelings of anticipation. My body starts tingling and I begin to crave what's next. I love it mixed with orange, cypress, or even all by itself. Sensation is so my mild that it can even be used on one sensi sensitive area with very little dilution. Have your love light rub a drop of coconut oil and a couple of drops of sensation all over your sea singing love bottom. Oh, wow. You will not be complaining. You'll be singing like Lucy was right. This is oh so sensational. I don't know if you caught that. <laughs> um, we got Carmen in the... Carmen Lynn for the win in the house. Hello, hello. Welcome in, fam. I don't know. You could put it on your biceps. Yes, you can. That is another good place to put them um, because I believe it's your lymphatic system that runs through there. So if you do put them on your bicep, um, it will get into that system. But it's the inner, inner part here. Don't put it on your, your armpit. I mean, you could, but I don't. But you can put it like right in this area and it will help with that um if you have questions definitely put them in the chat but welcome in carmen lynn for the win um we are talking about oils and what you can use in the bedroom so um just giving you some some things some good ideas and if you are into valentine's day this is perfect i definitely talked about oils for men and women and now i still have three other oils but right now we are talking about sensation. Sensation is what we're talking about. And I'm reading from a book called Lucy Lobato. I got this off of Amazon. It was about 20 bucks at the time. I don't know how much it is now, but really good. And it's specific to the oils that I'm talking about. That's cool. I learned something new. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and we're not done. So stick around. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, we also, um, sensation, what was I going to say about it? There was something specific. I have used this for a massage, um, and because of that floral note, um, I didn't feel like hot and bothered, like ready to just pounce and go. It wasn't like that, but it was a good massage, and it was good. We'll just leave it as that. It was a good massage. Um, 
Mm, what else can I tell you? I think that's it about sensation, but uh, really good. And it's a blend of oils, so. That was a bonus. We're into the bonus oils. So the next three oils are also bonus oils. Um, and the next one we can talk about is, let's see, we'll do Mr. Mr. Come on, Mr. There he is. So it is in the book. We'll read the website first. So it says, Mr. Bam, right there, Mr. This one is a really good one for the fellas. This one has like a, what is that? Like peppermint scent or winter green something in the mint family um but also with the trees tree oil so it says mr essential oil blend contains sage fennel lavender myrtle yarrow peppermint i can smell that peppermint and sesame seed oil it is formulated to help men age gracefully by Embracing transition and cycles, especially related to physical and emotional life changes. For women, this oil blend can help bring a balance of masculine energy to the feminine well-being. So women, you can use this too. So it says how to use it. It says Topically, so you can apply it to your skin. Two to four drops directly to desired area. Dilution not required except for the most sensitive skin. Use as needed. You can also use it aromatically, so that's in a diffuser, like what I have right here. And it is going. I don't know if you can see the vapors, but it is going. Um, and... That's to get the scent into the air and you can breathe it in that way. And it says, Mister is a conjunction with prostate health. So it's good for the prostate. For men, um, women don't have prostates. Um, apply it topically as your personal cologne to enhance feelings of masculinity, apply it to the inner and outer ankles for a re revitalizing experience. I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see what that does. So it says apply it to the inner and outer. I'm just putting drops on my ankle, see what it does. And it does have a blue tint to it. Um, diffuse eight to 12 drops in the morning to start your day with vigor. Um, combine it with V6 vegetable oil complex for a conditioning beard oil. So you can use it as a beard oil um, I use the Sutron oil as a beard oil, which I talked about in the beginning. That was this one. Um, but there's an actual beard oil that you can get with Sutron, and I use that on my face. And it does help without me getting, like, hair bumps. For me, um, I get hair bumps before I started using this oil, and now it's very rare that I get them. And... I'm starting to get some little gray hair in my, my mustache. I got two in here and two down here. And I was like, what? I'm getting old and I cannot wait for that gray to come in. A little salt and pepper. Can't wait. Uh, but, uh, so that's Mr. I'm going to read what's in the book. And if you have any questions, definitely put it in the chat, fam. All right, so, Mr. Um, 
It's fairly short, so I will read the whole thing. Next, we will be discussing a special oil blend from the Hupsters called Mister. This blend was originally formulated to balance male energy and support healthy prostate function. Ironically, some women find it also helpful also helped them with hot flashes and mood swings. What? Remember when you remember when you remember when we talked earlier about hot flashes, PMS, irritability and night sweats are often a sign of low progesterone and low estrogen. Ironically, women need certain levels of t testosterone. Although not nearly as much as men, we do need more estrogen and progesterone. When these levels fall too low, we get cuckoo birdie grumpy. Cuckoo birdie grump. Cuckoo birdie grump. I'm trying to say it fast. Cuckoo birdie grumpy. While occasionally that insane ir ir irritability can also happen when our estrogens are too high and our testosterone is too low. I know it sounds crazy, not enough testosterone, but when when we need it, when, but we need it too. For women who are estrogen dominant, adding estrogen to their lives, even if it's natural, doesn't make them more balanced, obviously. Women who tend to feel more balanced using Mr. fall in the category of being estrogen dominant. They tend to be older than 30, but that's not a hard, fast rule. Mr. is a blend that is designed to balance male hormones, support prostate health, and help it to be function properly. Mr. Contains an oil called Blue Yarrow. So, I'm going to put some on and I will show you the drip. But you can see the top is blue. But that Blue Yarrow is what makes this oil blue. And you will see it drip here in just a second. So, it's blue. It's a blue oil. And I think that's pretty cool, especially if you're going to make a cologne with it and you put enough drops, the cologne will be, like, blue. I'm just rubbing it all over. Missed it. And it has that, like, pepper, that peppermint smell to it. Um, and I feel like my hands are very hydrated from that. So, Mr. Uh, blue, called Blue Yarrow, that's the same Blue Yarrow. Also in our beloved Dragon Tail Blend. Dragon Tail Blend is for the ladies. Um, it helps to balance the granular system in both men and women. Dragon Time tends to help more women from puberty through ages 30. And Mr. tends to work well with women 30 plus. Again, this is a general guideline, and either age group could use either oil. As for men, Mr. helps the prostate function optimally. Therefore, it can be a bigger part of his lumbato and performance. You can apply Mr. to his ankles and to the front and back of his pelvis. Apply daily for optimal prop prostate performance it smells quite nice actually and it really soothes in a bath or worn as a cologne it does smell nice um the ingredients of mr are yarrow a prostate decongestant sage strengthens vital centers myrtle helps normalize hormone imbalance of the thyroid and sex glands. Fennel has hormone-like activity. Lavender is relaxing and grounding. And peppermint strengthens the liver and glandular 
function. All good things to get the men back on track. As a total tangent and side note, I've been to the Young Living Farms and I've watched them distill blue yarrow. This is an oil that is hard to find. It's absolutely fin fascinating. The flowers are a pale yellow, but the oil comes out bright blue. During the distillation process, the plant material releases camazilin, which gives the oil its vibrant blue color. And that's what gives the light blue tint to our Dragon Time and Mr. Blends. If your husband Lobato, husband's Lobato gas tank is running low, this is definitely one to look into the perk thing the perk things up again or even possibly yours mister isn't picky this blend swings both ways what so i like to have mister on hand um it smells wonderful it looks great and i'm gonna apply it another drop because it's blue and i think it's just interesting so, again, it's blue. This time we're gonna put it behind the ear. It's that peppermint scent. Eat, just rub it all in. All right, I'm gonna be ready for the night. <laughs> um, so that's Mr. Um, really, really good oil. I do have two more oils that I'm going to talk about. And the next one, I actually used the other day. And let's see if it's in this book. It is. But let's bring it up on the website. All right, so the next oil is called Joy. And once upon a time, this oil was called Love. But they wanted to switch up the name and call it Joy. So it's still the same oils, but it was once become once before called love and i need something to drink my throat getting dry and thank you again family for being here i know you've been here for quite some time this is probably one of my longest lives i've done but i thought this was great information to be sharing with my family so here it is we are almost done though so, Joy, it says Joy Essential Oil Blend is an exotic combination of floral and citrus essential oils, including ylang, -ylang geranium, jasmine, per palmarosa, rose, bergamot, lemon, tangerine to enhance the frequency of self-love and bring joy to your heart. So usually when I use Joy, it's either in the diffuser or if I apply it topically, I'll put it directly on my heart and just rub it in. And I feel like it brings joy. I will promote joy as I am going throughout my day. It is floral. So you heard I read a lot of floral notes, um, but it's really good. Uh, Miss Nisi, I don't know what that. Oh, it's for House of X. Oh, House of X is back. Welcome in, welcome in. We are still going. That's cool. Um, welcome in, Wanston. Hello, hello. Oh, that's what Miss Nisi is saying. Welcome back, House of X. I get it now. I figured that one out. Um, welcome back. I know you had a live, so I will definitely check out the replay. But I'm still going. <laughs> um, I thought I would go through this faster, but... I'm actually not. And I only have this oil and one more oil after this, and then I'll be done. But I'll definitely check you out. Um, so this is Joy, and we're just getting into the Joy. So sit down, pull up a chair, relax. I know you're tired from your live, probably. I hope it was a great live for you. Um, so it says, to create Joy's unique and lovely scent, Oils such as bergamot, ylang, ylang geranium, rose, combined to make the perfect floral, citrusy aroma. 
Many of these oils have a rich history. Bergamot is rumored to have been taken to Italy by way of Carney Islands by Christopher Columbus Boo. Rose has been praised for its fragrance, other qualities since ancient Greek and Roman times. With such powerful oils, it's no surprising that Joy is a member of favorites. So it says, apply to your wrist like the back of your neck and the, and the back of your neck before going out for fresh air and natural floral. Out for fresh. Let me, let me read that again. I'm getting all mixed up. Okay, so it says, apply joy to your wrist and the back of your neck before going out for a fresh and natural floral perfume. Diffuse joy to fill your space with its uplifting, joyful aroma. Place two to three drops on a damp cloth and throw it in the dryer to help freshen your laundry. You can also get wool dryer balls and place those, place those in your dryer and then put a few drops of joy onto the dryer ball and it will help put those scents into your clothes as well. Um, and I'm going to try that. I never did joy. Um, it says diffuse 8 to 20 drops to create atmosphere of happiness throughout the, your home. So 8 to 20 drops is a lot. And that is very intense. You'll probably need to open up a few windows if you do 20 drops. That is very excessive. Unless you're in like a big warehouse, maybe. <laughs> um, but 20 drops is too much. My opinion, if you want to do 20, go for it. I've done, I think, maybe 10 or 15 when I first started with oils. And that was lavender. And that didn't go so well. So I wouldn't recommend more than five drops of oil in a diffuser. Six at most. Um, I have done six, and even that was a little intense. But it got the whole house. It didn't just, like, get one room. And it was going for 10 hours, so six drops, like 20 drops, I can imagine. Um, but that is Joy, and I am going to read a little bit from the book. So, again, we're reading from the book. Joy is there. So it says Joy. Need a little more? Joy in your sheets. Joy. Joy makes me so joyful that I present a poem. Lucy O to Joy. O oh Joy, how I love thee with your lovely floral scent that replaced my paraben perfume. Joy, who balanced my crazy hormones, promotes feeling of self-worth and makes me irresistible to Mr. Libido. Okay, so it doesn't rhyme. I can be good at, I can't be good at everything, but I could literally go on and on and on about how much I love joy. At the time I first used joy, it was in the everyday oils kit. I thought it would be one that I wouldn't use much, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, was I wrong. I like the way it smells, and more importantly, I like how it makes me feel. So oils do change your mood. If you use them frequently, it will change your mood. Um, and there are so many oils that will help with so many different situations. So it says, did you know that Joy was originally named Love? I just told you. Um, the oil in Joy stimulates the brain's sense of love and affection. During Joy, diffusing Joy is a great way to invite the mood. If you don't love the floral aroma of Joy, try blending it with some lemon to make it more bright or blend it with clary sage to make it more earthy. This oil can be used aromatically or topically to 
raise frequency and including and increase feelings of love. It's fantastic and love lube and inner thigh potion. So if there's an oil that I don't like or I just don't resonate with right away, I will use bergamot. Bergamot helps with <laughs> making me like that oil. So frankincense I didn't like at first. Um, there was peace and calming. That's another one I did not like at first. And I would mix it with bergamot. And after probably like three weeks to a month, I was able to use it by itself. So um, definitely mix it with some bergamot or as she said, clary sage or lemon. But bergamot has a little earthy and a little citrus to it. So it will give you both of those. So that's why I like to use the bergamot. Um, I use it over my heart during the day. So I mentioned that to you as well. I like to put it on my heart and just use it that way. Um, during the day to balance out my crazy and to bring me a calming, happy feeling. Mr. Lovato not only loves the attitude elevation it can give, but it, he also keep can he, but he also can't seem to keep his hands off me. Yes, I bathe in joy now. At night, oh, at night. Take a couple of drops of joy and a few drops of carrier oil. I personally love sensation massage oil for this and rub it on your inner thighs. Get all the way up in your leg crease and on your lower abdomen. For your Mr. Levo Mr. Loves, the f if your Mr. Love, the floral scent, put a f drop between your cleavage, trust me, the perfect blend of ylang, ylang geranium, jasmine, and rose really gets you in the mood. And when you are in the mood, it's always more juicier and delicious. <laughs> I like to do things straight out of the shower right before getting into bed. With joy to help me, I've been able to get to the big J-O-Y faster. So if you don't have it already, put it in your must have list. If you do have it now, lucky, 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 Put it out tonight. Oh, your O oh to Joy song will probably sound better than mine. Something more like, ooh, 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 Joy. She's singing in the book. So that is Joy. And again, I like it. Um, it is floral, so... Sometimes I will mix it with like a little orange or something um, just to knock off all that floral because it is strong with floral. But if you like floral, you'll love this joy. But um, I can even mix it with divine release and joy. Let's see what that smells like. Just open them up and smell them. Yeah, I like it. Together, it's a good one. It's a good combination. Divine and release and joy. All right. So I only got one more oil. This is the very last one. I saved the best for last. This is for the fellas. This one is a good one. All right. So it is in the book. We're going to read from... The website. All right, so this one, I don't know if you can read this. It says Golden Rod. Golden Rod is what this is called, and this one, this one. 
You're just going to learn about it. To me, ever since someone told me what they thought it smelled like, now that's all I smell smell with this oil. But it smells like dill. Dill, like the herb. This is a blend of oils. So it does have in it... Uh, it's kind of hard to read white writing on yellow background. I can't read it. So I'm going to read it from the website. It says, Goldenrod essential oil has a calming aroma, ins inspiring an intimate atmosphere and enhances Lobato, making it the most popular oil for the bedroom diffuser. Goldenrod. A flor flowering herb with bright yellow tops, goldenrod comes from the botanical family. A stere I can't say that. Botanical family. Its scientific name, Soldago, Soligodago, comes from the Latin word solidarity, solidare, which means to make whole. The plant is most often found in North America, but some species are found in Europe as well. It's, it grows well in open areas such as meadows, prairies, savannas, and mountains. You can find it at the Young Living Lavender Farm and Distillery in Mo Mona, Utah, USA, and in St. Mary's, Idaho, so they're just naming off the farms they have where you can find these. Goldenrod essential oil is steam distilled from flowers, leaving from flowers, leaves, and stems of the plant. And with the key constituent alpha pinene, this essential oil has an array of benefits. Use it to support the appearance of healthy looking skin and creates a calming, relaxing environment when diffusing or inhaled. <laughs> so it does say diffuse or diffuse for a calming aroma, inspiring intimate atmosphere, inhale its aroma as you work to release emotions and thoughts, patterns that no longer serve you. Apply topically on the bottom of your feet and re reflex and reflex on your ankles to deepen a sense of connectedness diffused with the ylang, ylang to create an intimate atmosphere of love. So ylang, ylang and golden rod, put them together and you're going to get a great sensation. Um... So it says key constituents. Um, I, I would read it, but I can't pronounce those words. They're scientific words that I cannot pronounce. But it does come from a flower. And let's read what the book says. So it says golden rod. Golden and rod. Need we make, Need we say more? So I don't know if you're getting it, but golden rod, golden rod, ah, golden rod, tee hee. I can hardly say the name without snickering. Let me s tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a plant named golden rod. The oil from the flowering top of the plant was found to improve circulation, circulation and aid the urinary tract according to the University of Montreal in Canada. It was found, also found to help with deflated hoses and firmness of, well, you know, the male part, the male body part we come to ref refer to around here as the soldier. Stink bug.
What are you doing? Can you give me five minutes? Okay. Can I have a seat with you, Dad? Can you have a seat with me in five minutes? Yes. Okay. In five minutes, okay? Okay. Give me a hug. I'm almost done, okay? Can I have a seat on your lap? <laughs> oh, you want to say hi? Look. Say hi. No. It's just you and me. See? Oh. It's me and you. See? Hi. It's just me and my stinkers. My stinkers. There's one, two, three. Yeah. Oh. One, two, and three. Who's this? Gray Boinky. Gray Boinky. Hi, Gray Boinky. What are you doing? Yeah, gray. This is his Gray Boinky. And who are you? Sue L. Oh, hi, Sir L. What are you doing? Good. Say hi, everyone. No. It's just me and you. And Gray Boinky, say hi. What's inside? Where's that little Sir Ale? Do you see anybody on there? No. It's just you. It's just you. Look. Who's that? Who is that? My little stinkers. Are you a little pig? Okay, I want you to go upstairs for like five minutes and then I'm gonna come, come get you, okay? You see you right there? Look. Say hi. Look, right there. Hi. And watch. He's, I'm just being shy. Yeah, you are. See? <laughs> he sees himself. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Watch. Mm -hmm. But let's go upstairs, okay? Let me finish, and then you can come back down. Wait. I'm kidding. Look, you just waved. Okay. Okay, give me five minutes, okay? Give me five minutes. Sorry for the little pause there. My son, he's, he's, he's bored up there. He wants to come down here. But I am almost done. I'm just talking about the very last oil. Um, all right. And he does say hello to everyone. You've seen him waving. He thought he was talking to himself, but he was actually talking to you. Um, he gets a little shy, so I got to say there's nobody there. It's just us. <laughs> all right. So it says, um, once upon a time, there was a plant named Goldenrod. The oil from the flowering top of the plant was found to improve the circulation and aid the ur urinary tract. According to the University of Montreal in Canada, it was also found to help with de deflated hoses and firmness of, well, you know, the male body part we've all come to refer to around here as the soja. The I told my friends about this blessed oil useful advantage and they gave it a try. My friends reported back an increase in firmness using golden rod topically, so that means on it, as well as internally, so taking it in a capsule. Um We've come to love golden rod so much that we don't call it golden rod anymore. We call it golden rod. Golden rod. Because truly, golden plus rod, that's what it does. This is very good news for those who want a little more golden in their rod. <laughs> Golden is a sensational, golden rod is an sensational oil 
that is distilled in the fall. I highly recommend stocking up in, in on the fall to have plenty of to last you through the spring. It's a sad day when you tip your goldenrod bottle upside down and it's empty in March. All the Valentine's Day lovers snatch it up in February and there's no months. There are months to wait before it blooms again. You can use goldenrod topically in a soldier and love stone massage or as an inner thigh love potion. You can also choose to take up to three drops in a capsule with olive oil. Goldenrod oil has been known to be edible even since the Boston Tea Party era when English tea was dumped into the harbor and the colonists drank goldenrod tea instead. Miss, my Mr. Lobato has used it in a pinky palette with much success. A little goes a long way. Enjoy your goldenrod, ladies. And men. And those who are going to be indulging in this goldenrod. <laughs> <laughs> um, so those are all the oils that I have I know this went on for quite some time I know people have learned something great um, and if you want me to go over another oil um, definitely let me know but there is a Lucy semen stroke belly base I don't know what that is there are some recipes in this book. Um, there are quite a few recipes in this book. So, inner thigh potion. There's four of them. It says, for him and for her, apply for the inner thigh, medium thigh, to lay crease. Make a head store in a 10 ml bottle so it's a little it's a little smaller than this kind of bottle um this is a 15 ml so it's just a little smaller um keep it in the bat the bedroom so sweet thing the recipe for that is 20 drops of ylang ylang 20 drops of cypress five drops of lavender and 50 drops of a carrier oil um sensational the recipe for that is 20 drops of sensational essential oil 10 drops of cypress five drops of jasmine and 50 drops of a carrier oil so a carrier oil is like vegetable oil grapeseed oil jojoba oil coconut oil those are carrier oils they have bigger molecules so they're not an essential oil Essential oils have small molecules, which can penetrate through your cell membranes, um, and it helps dilute the essential oil. So that is what a carrier oil is. You can pick and choose what carrier oil works best for you. Um, there's a juicy recipe. So this is clary sage. You would do 20 drops, 10 drops of cypress, 10 drops of orange, and 50 drops of a carrier oil. Happy ending. This is 20 drops of joy, 15 drops of lime, 10 drops of cypress, and 50 drops of carrier oil. And there's a picture here. So it says apply from the inner mid thigh to the leg crease. So it's about halfway from your thigh up to the crease of where your hip starts. So that's where you would want to apply the oil. And there's like a little picture. So mid, thigh, all the way up to the crease. And then for the men, it says Tarzan man. It says 15 drops of, uh, Hinoki, Hinoki, as I think that's how you pronounce it, Hinoki. 
um, 10 drops of goldenrod, 10 drops of Idaho blue spruce, and 5 drops of black pepper, and 50 drops of a carrier oil. Again, you're applying these oils into a bottle, and then you make that blend, and then you would apply it to your inner thigh um, wake-up call. So this is a 20-drop Idaho blue spruce, 10 drops of cypress, 5 drops of rosemary, 5 drops of nutmeg, and 50 drops of carrier oil. Mr. Nice Guy. This is 30 drops of Mr., 5 drops of Idaho blue spruce, 5 drops of cypress, and 50 drops of a carrier oil. And to the point, Sutron, all the drops you desire. So that's this oil. And you would just apply all the drops that you want. Um, also for ladies, I know it wasn't in this, but you can apply that to your inner thigh as well. The Progestion Plus. But there are Jaw Edible Love Numb. Um, there's Coco Lime Edible Love Serum. There is Lucy's Skin Mint Edible Love Button Butter. There is Mr. Lobato's Perky Pellet. So in an empty veggie capsule combine, five to eight drops of Idaho Blue Spruce, three drops of goldenrod, two drops of nutmeg, and 10 drops of olive oil. He takes this 20 minutes before go time. Can be used daily. It says scar diminisher. Diminisher. So 20 drops of lavender, 20 drops of frankincense, 20 drops of fractionated coconut oil. Apply topically to stretch marks or scars two times daily for a month. I think I'm gonna try that. So 20 drops, 25 drops of each oil, lavender, frankincense, and fractionated coconut oil. Vein diminisher. This is an amazing 10, 10 ounce, 10 milliliter roller lightened and reduced leg veins. 40 drops of lemongrass, 20 drops of cypress, 10 drops of hilly chrysum. Fill to the top with a cellulite massage oil or fractionated coconut oil. Apply to veins two to two times daily for a month then one times daily to maintain. There's a lot of recipes in here. Soldier Serum. It says natural aloe vera, two teaspoons, two teaspoons of fractionated coconut oil, a half a teaspoon of vegetable glycerin, half teaspoon of vitamin E, one eighth of a teaspoon of liquid liquid soy lithium, eight drops of sutron, five drops of Idaho blue spruce, five drops of goldenrod, three drops of hanuki, and three drops of nutmeg. That's the soldier serum. Combine oils with the lactin this this comes your emulsifying agent add olive oil glycerin vitamin e and essential oils this circulation boost lube starts on him supports his soldier where it goes after that is up to you hmm. soldier serum huh love bottom Love bottom lubes. So it's just talking about all the lubes that you can make um, that are plant based. Uh, 
Um, quite a few recipes. Quite a few. But I hope you enjoyed this. I do appreciate each and every one of you being here. Um, I love to read to my people, let you learn something new. Um, I actually learned a few things as well, so I will be trying some things, especially with cypress and orange and mister and goldenrod and even nutmeg. Um, but that is pretty much all I got for you. I hope it was a great one. I kept it PG as best as I could. Um, I wasn't trying to go X-rated because I ain't trying to get banned. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel, not get it cut off. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you take it. And if you apply it, let me know how it goes. You don't have to go into detail, but just say, hey, I, I got sensation and it was really good. Or mister, um, I got it for my husband or I don't know your significant other or progesterone plus it helped my uh my hormone imbalance because it, like ladies some things do bring you out of whack and for men sutron definitely get you some sutron you have hormones too so you need it um but that is all i got for you i hope you all have a great night thank you for being here i appreciate you love you all and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. And thank you for being here. Appreciate you fam. Bye. Love you.